All smiles and a big thumbs up. Sunny Williams and her crewmate safely back on Earth tonight after an extended stay on the International Space Station. And the town of Needham was cheering for their hometown astronaut when the SpaceX Dragon capsule splashed down just before six. This was a homecoming nine months in the making. Thank you for joining us. I'm David Wade. Williams and Butch Wilmore were supposed to spend just eight days on the ISS, but problems with their ride home made their return very delayed. From the site of the splashdown to Williams' hometown, WBZ has everything you need to know tonight about this awe-inspiring flight. Our team coverage starts with Christian Benavitez in Florida. David, that splashdown was just so perfectly executed. You could even see dolphins surrounding that capsule. We know that that trip from the International Space Station back to Earth was about 17 hours, but that's nothing compared to that extended state of nearly 10 months. This view coming from the a high altitude plane high altitude caught these plane first images of the SpaceX Dragon's freefall back to Earth. Parachutes cut its speed before the capsule splashed down at a gentle 15 miles per hour off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida. Back on Earth after nine months in space, NASA astronauts Sonny Williams and Butch Wilbur, along with another U.S. astronaut and a Russian cosmonaut. On behalf of SpaceX, welcome home. Minutes later, the recovery team began arriving at the splashdown zone, followed by a curious pot of dolphins. Brace for capsule lift. The Dragon then hoisted aboard a ship. Some waves, some thumbs up and some smiles. Where the crew cheered as they helped Williams and Wilmore out of the capsule. Ignition. The pair began their mission back in June, launching into space aboard the first human flight for a Boeing Starliner. They made it to the ISS, but the spacecraft developed propulsion problems and for safety, left with no one on board. What was supposed to be an eight day trip became a nine month stay. The duo orbiting the Earth more than 4,500 times. And I don't think we're stuck up here. We've got food, we've got clothes. We have a ride home in case anything really bad does happen to the International Space Station. NASA officials say that extra time enabled Williams to get the spacewalk record for a woman. She and Wilmore also put in nearly a thousand hours of research, conducting 150 experiments. And the work we do on the International Space Station benefits the nation, benefits people on Earth, and are the building blocks for going back to the moon and to Mars. And by the way, the crew had been preparing for their return back home. In fact, we understand they were doing two to three hour daily workouts because at zero gravity, there is some muscle loss. But now uh, they're back here. Uh, they're being evaluated medically before being able to meet with their loved ones once again. In Clearwater, Florida, I'm Christian Benavides, WBZ News. Christian, thank you. Needham is the home of the Rockets, and it's the hometown of Sunny Williams, whose fame has skyrocketed thanks to her smile and her courage. And tonight, Needham celebrated their local hero. Brandon Truitt takes us to the party. There wasn't an inch of free space in the common room, people standing shoulder to shoulder watching history unfold. The drinks were flowing, a life-size Sonny Williams cutout, perfect for taking pictures, but the impact of this mission on young girls. It's as if Sonny was writing her legacy in those watching eyes. We all kind of feel relieved that she's like safe and yeah, we're so excited to see her again. It's like so cool that she's a part of our town and like everybody knows her across the entire country and I'm so proud to have gone to her school. Sisters Jaya and Priya Butler both attended the elementary school in Sunny's name. Relics of missions past line the hallways, the inspiration on full display. I think it's really great for kids to see that someone who grew up in this community, graduated from Needham Public Schools, can go on to become someone so successful. Just to show support and that we're happy for a safe return. Even members of Williams graduating class of 1983 turned out, describing her as funny, smart and athletic. The work of one woman impacting generations. It is so exciting and you were so proud to have a classmate that is so successful and did something so amazing. At like our school, we're all really proud of her and we're just happy that she's back so she can like visit us again. 